I'm going to show you how to search the internet on an iPad. First of all, we have to open up what we call the Safari app, which is a web browser. Now the Safari app is this icon here, and it should be sitting down towards the bottom of your iPad. And all I need to do is to give it one quick tap and it will open. OK, so I'll just zoom away so you can see what has happened. Right. Now you can see the whole of the iPad and it's opened up the Safari app. And to do a search, I've got to use some what we call text boxes at the top of the iPad. So I'm going to zoom again in now to show you where these are located. And you can see I'm moving into the top of the pad. I turn around a bit. And to search, these two boxes here here and here are the two most important you, you, you boxes you need to uh, use when you're going to do your search so um, for example uh, we've got a go to this address box that's for when you know an address or somebody's giving you some details like um, www.bbc.co.uk or if you just want to search the internet in general for something, then you just put a subject or a name in this search box here. Okay, so somebody's mentioned to me about a, a website called Digital Unite, which is very helpful. So I'm going to go onto the search box now, if I just turn around a little. And to get the search in, I just tap on the box itself. And you should be able to see inside the box there's a line, a vertic vertical line flashing. That is what we call a cursor and that tells you it's ready to accept details into the box. What it also has done is it's brought up a list underneath to show that I've done some searching before. And this list is there just in case I want to search for the same place again. Okay, one thing that you can't see that has also happened is at the bottom of the iPad is the keyboard. So if I just move down the pad slowly and on the keyboard, if we go across to the right, one of the keys is now saying the word search. Okay, that's quite important. So I'm going to pan right back up again to the search box and using the keyboard I'm going to put in the word Digital Unite. Don't forget to put a space between words in the search box. You don't put spaces when it's in the address though. Okay, so I've got the words Digital and Unite in the uh, search box. I'm now going back down onto the keyboard and tapping that word search. So what it's doing is I've put in um, the words Digital Unite into what we call a search engine. And the search en the default search engine on this iPad is Google. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pan down the iPad again and zoom a little out to show you what the search engine has done. Okay, so it has presented a list of websites that have the word Digital Unite in them. I'll just pan back a bit. So you can see a bit more of that. And so 
normally on a web search it is the first one that you go for at the top which is the most likeliest match for your um, for the website that you're searching however this might not always the case so what you need to do is if I just focus in on the words digital night at the top here you'd have to do a check not only do it has to say digital digital unite in blue but underneath here there's an address in green that will also need to say digital unite or digital unite.com as it is there so i know that i am when i tap on digital unite it will now take me to the website and that's how you do a search on the web on the iPad